Welcome back to Black News Tonight. It is time to see what's going on in these digital streets. First up, social media is buzzing after Atlanta rapper Future teased a new song with 42 Doug taking jabs at ex-girlfriend Lori Harvey. In the clip, Future raps, tell Steve Harvey I don't want her. And Twitter had a lot to say about it, of course. Harvey and Future ended their relationship in 2020. Future is trash. There was, there's a way that, you know, Future has become a meme and we joke about it. You know that meme of Future looking at his phone, texting something real toxic to an ex. And the jokes be funny, and they're funny because they remind you of somebody you know that's trash or your own most trash moments. We all have had them. But he manages, manages to consistently personify what it means to do toxic masculinity. He manages to embody what it means to just be, I don't use this language on TV, but an F boy in real life. And I don't understand why he's so committed to that. I watched him do it with Sierra sidetracking note. I did an interview with Future a couple of years ago and I kind of laughed along with him when he was telling some Sierra jokes. I always felt bad about it. I, pro I apologized to Sierra privately, uh, but I apologize to you publicly, Sierra. I'm sorry about that. Sincerely, you know, um, there's a way that unhealthy and toxic masculinity plays out and everybody can fall victim to it. But Future needs to grow up, brother. We got to do something different. You and Lori Harvey broke up and move on. Do something else, but why you got to make a song about it? Why you got to say, tell Steve Harvey, I don't want her? Why bring Uncle Steve in it? And I'm not just saying it because I'm wearing one of his suits today. I'm saying it because there's absolutely no reason. No reason to do that, man. We too old for that. That stuff was corny when you was 10. This stuff was corny when you was 16. It's definitely corny right now, Future. So just knock it off. You salty because she's with Michael B. Jordan. You salty because you ain't with her. Or you're not salty at all and you're just bored. Either way, it's corny and it's whack. And you got to let that go, King. All right, let's move on to the next story here. Blackish creator Kenya Barris and actress Eva Longoria are getting some backlash after it's been announced that there will be a possible brownish spinoff featuring the actress. The announcement wasn't so well received on social media with some taken to Twitter and calling for the Ish franchise to be finished. <laughs> Meanwhile, other criticized Longoria for some comments she made back in election season referring to Latinas as the real heroines of the 2020 presidential election. Eva Longoria shouldn't have said that Latinas are the real heroines of the 2020 election. Black women stood up, stood in the gap and made this thing happen. We got to identify that. But I also don't want to get into these internal black brown battles. Why are we just mad at black and brown people? What is all these white people to be mad at? But that ain't the point here. The point is we have to stop this. Kenya Barris, you my man, 50 grand. You know you my man. I like you. I love Blackish. I think it's one of the most innovative cutting edge uh comedies that I've seen. I love seeing black people in that light. It's irreverent. It's funny. It's brilliant. Anthony Anderson is a genius. Tracy Ellis Ross is a genius. All the kids on there, geniuses. I love what you did with Blackish. Grownish was a great spinoff. I actually love it. My daughter loves watching it. It's a great show. Mixed-ish is stretching a little bit, but it's a great Show. Shout out to Tika Sumter, my homie. Great show. But at some point, bro, you got to come up with something. How many remixes to the song can you do? Give me another hit. Just give me one more hit. Any kind of hit, but you can't keep remixing the same thing because it gets weak creatively, but also it gets cynical. It's like, oh, I'm just trying to get some brown people to watch. Just like I try to get some mixed people to watch. Just like I try to get some teenagers to watch. And when you start doing that, you lose sight of the real goal here, which is to have a cutting edge, insightful analysis of race. You did that with them other shows. Let's stop right now. As the people said, let's be finished. All right, on to the next story from these digital streets. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot announced that for the two year anniversary of being inaugurated into office, she would only be granting exclusive access to black and brown reporters to interview her. Light spoke, she spoke on a about the importance of diversity and inclusion in media on Twitter. During the interview, uh, Lightfoot also addressed the criticism 
she has faced so far during her term. So I really like the idea of just giving black media interviews. And Mayor Lightfoot, if you wanna come on Black News tonight, I got you. We'll give you one segment, two segments, three segments, what you want, we got you. But we're gonna ask you some tough questions. If you're doing it for diversity sake, I'm riding with you. But if you're doing it because you think the black media gonna ask you questions that aren't tough, if we're not gonna ask you about your failure to help create better housing, if you're gonna talk about the way that you stood with the police as black people were getting killed, how you helped advance inaccurate narratives and facts, if that's what you think black media going to do, nah, we ain't just going to ask you what your favorite rap song is. We're going to ask you the tough questions because they need to be asked. The job of a journalist is to ask those tough questions. That's what we finna do. So shout out to you, Mayor Lightfoot, for saying you only give black media the entry pass. But don't think we're going to give you a pass. All right. Another story. Billy Porter, the Pose star. He's breaking out and giving us some important personal disclosures. He broke his silence about living with HIV. In a candid interview with The Hollywood Reporter, the actor revealed that he was first diagnosed 14 years ago and decided to keep his status private as he was wrestling with personal shame in conjunction with other life battles. But Porter now says that he is ready to grow up and move on because, because quote, shame is destructive and if not dealt with, it can destroy everything in its path. Billy Porter, I've always admired you, your creative genius, your sartorial splendor. That means he could dress. But what you did this week may be the most important thing you've done in your career. You didn't owe us a thing, Billy Porter. You didn't have to tell us your HIV status. You didn't have to tell us about your medical history. You didn't have to disclose anything. But you sharing that story at this juncture in history makes you a hero. There are so many people who are suffering in silence. They're not necessarily suffering from a medical issue because as we know, HIV meds are so prevalent and powerful today that people can have it undetectable in their blood system. People can take drugs to prevent them, themselves from even getting HIV at this point. But there's still so much shame and stigma around it. There's so much shame and stigma, particularly directed toward black people, particularly toward black men, and even more specifically toward black, same gender loving men. And so when you go out there and you tell your story, when you speak your truth, when you identify something that was personal to you and you say, I will not be prisoner to this shame. I will not be prisoner to this stigma. I will not allow the world to put on me something that I don't want. You did something so powerful, so beautiful, so important for all of us. So my dear brother, Billy Porter, shout out to you. Wishing you another 100 years of health and letting you know that you're going down in the Hall of Fame. Not just as an artist, not just as a singer, because you killed it the last war show, but as a truth teller and a freedom fighter. Anyway, we'll be back with more Black News tonight right after this. Stay tuned.